Yo guys, Kurt here. So, welcome back to Minecraft. Last time we were here was in all the mod 6 that we had done with Keith. Today I'm actually going to start a single player vanilla world because I just feel like it. Uh, I can't say how much I'll actually do with this if I'm going to be fair. I want to do a lot, but of course I'm not great with building, which is basically what you do in vanilla, is build a lot. Hopefully we'll actually do that. Now, I just loaded into the world. Is that a jungle? Wait, what is the seed that I just loaded into? It looks like a desert over here. This is interesting. Not what I was anticipating. So we start in a red... One of these red deserts, I think, is what this is actually called. I'm not actually sure. Or Badlands, maybe? Badlands, that's what it's called. Okay, uh... We can work with this. Is that gold? Right off the bat. Oh, that makes sense. So, yeah, gold spawns in more often in these maps. Hi there, where did you come from? I don't currently have anything to fight you off. Oh, this place is kind of dangerous. So, like, I want to make a note of this area, because this is really cool, and there's a lot of things here that we could use. But, do I want to actually build here? Of course, no. I'm assuming our coordinates are close to zero, zero. Yeah, okay. Um, so, yeah, the only... I do have a couple mods installed, but they're just for recording sake. Uh, I have the replay mod on, which I have to learn how to work with. I've used it before, but not successfully. Um, I do have... So, Optifine is not really a thing if you're using Fabric, which is what you need for replay mod. But I've got a few things to counteract that. Um, the main thing I wanted was a zoom key. And uh, there are other mods that allow that. I'm using uh, Logical Zoom from Logical Geek Boy. Um, other than that, it's just a few uh, game improvement mods. Um, I forget what they're called now. I'll have to throw them on screen. I think one of them... Did I do Sodium? I don't actually remember. I actually have... Um, oh, I've got a light overlay mod. I'm... A, whoops. Wrong one. I'm assuming if I press F7, okay, no. I don't know how to bring that up. I'll have to look in the controls. But I have a light overlay mod so I can see brightness, which isn't going to be as important in um, 1.18, but it's still going to be fairly important. Um, I don't know if it's going to actually work, but I have a shulker box tooltip mod on, so I should be able to just look at a shulker box and see what's in it, or if it's in my inventory. Um, oh, <laughs> the only thing that I know that I have that's different is, uh, I don't know if it's going to be on here. Uh, apparently I can make wind chimes. I'm going to have to look into that, because I just thought that'd be kind of cool to have wind chimes. I don't know. I saw it when I was putting the mods on. It was like, you know what? I want that. Um, okay, so we got a few things here. Let's get... Oh, you know what I should do is probably try to get some jungle saplings. It's gonna be a pain in the butt, though. But we'll get those. Probably could grab some sand, but I'm not gonna worry too much about it. I need to stop jumping. I'm already getting food. Um, so yeah, I want to say, I, as I said earlier, I mainly want to work on building with this series it's something i always say i want to do and i never get around to it is actually working on builds the only thing i can actually think of is making a elvish kind of forest because me and some of my buddies have been getting into DD, &D, which we haven't actually done in probably a month i need to get with them and see next time we're doing that and I kind of want to do, of course, the two main ones that come to mind is the Elvish and the Orcish. There's all kinds of different races, of course, throughout d and I just am not up to pace with it because I'm still somewhat new to all this stuff. Are these going to be oak leaves or jungle leaves? 
I think these will be jungle leaves because they're connected to a jungle tree, but I also have no idea. One thing I want to say, though, for this first episode, I kind of want to get past the dragon right away. Because then we could get Elytra, and we'll just be set from there. But there's also a lot of things I want to have before we ha really... Do I need to take this tree down, too? Is it too close to other trees for those to decay quicker? That is something else I might have to add in, is a... Uh, Fast Leaf Decay mod, because, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of waiting for leaves to bust. It's not great. That shouldn't be too close, so I should be able to get a Jungle Sapling off this. And then we gotta get going, because it's gonna get dark soon, and I don't want to die. Come on. I just need a single sapling. That's all I'm really... Oh, hey, there we go. Awesome. Alright. Um, oh, cocoa beans. Uh, probably want to take some of those, too. We farm those up. Not that I'm going to go too crazy with cocoa, but you never know. Uh, a cocoa farm just to get some brown dye could be really good. Unfortunately, uh, my knowledge up to this point is there's not a good way to actually... Uh, farm cocoa beans, but that is something, again, that I can look up in the future. Dude, yeah, this scene is crazy. There's a regular forest right over here next to a jungle, a desert, a badlands. That's insane. Whoops. We're going to turn a corner at some point, and there's going to be a village, like, not far from here. Cheap. I do want some wool, maybe some mutton. Oh, I'm also using uh, Vanilla Tweaks, uh, a resource pack from that. I'm debating on looking through their data packs and see what I, else I can do. But for right now, uh, maybe in the next clip. No way. Dude, I was joking. I was joking. Why? Okay, we don't need the sheep just yet. What in the world is going on here? We actually could make base right over here. Like, there's biomes aplenty. With a village and everything. Rabbit hide. Uh, I guess a rabbit jumped too far. Oh, okay, I kind of need to block off some of these villagers so that they don't die. Because, yeah, we're going to want... Oh, there's so... There's actually a ton of villagers here. Um... Do I have any blocks on me? Okay, I'm gonna take you who does not have a job. And, okay, I'm gonna take... You have a job. Hold on, I need... Oh, that's sandstone. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nope, nope, nope. You, uh, go in the hole. Hole, please. Oh boy. Uh, I could wait for night and just block off one of their doors. I guess. Let's see. That's a farmer. No. Ah, uh, gosh darn it! I could have put something in front of the door. I'm dumb. Oh uh, wait, you keep going. Okay, good. So that's a guy that doesn't have a job. So. I can use him for the breeder fairly easy. Um, no. Come back. Oh, you have a job. I thought you were... Do -do -do. Are there any other dudes that don't currently have jobs? Or do they all actually have one? Also, I need to loot this area. I just, I really want to get two villagers secured. Get over there. You have a job, yes. Oh, gosh, darn it. I may end up, oh, here. Um, where, stop walking away from me. Okay, if you go in that house, I'm blocking it off.
Ow. I walked straight into that cactus. Okay, that is fine. This is not an actual house. Is uh, I need to get inside. <laughs> Sleeping is definitely a necessity. Let me up. Where are all y'all's beds at? What? How do I keep ending up in these houses that have no beds? Is there one in here? Excuse me, I need this. I know you're not happy I stole your bed, but... Hey, it's better if I sleep because nothing can spawn then. Okay, I'm also going to steal a lot of their hay because, yeah, this is really good early game food. Oh, man, I almost want to set a base, like, right near here. What I could do is take over this village and turn into, you know, our farm area. I was not expecting to... I was totally joking whenever... Oh, golly, that was far... Yeah, uh, caves update, very dangerous. Uh... Very easy to just fall into random holes. Oh, it's still going. I probably, no, I don't think I need that piece. Yeah, we're good. Okay, uh, this needs blocked up. But yeah, we can turn... I'm thinking if we go back to where that jungle is, maybe turn that into... The forest area I'm thinking of. Um, we'll take down all the trees and then build it up from scratch. I say that, that's going to be a lot of work. Also, stealing y'all's beds, because I probably will need to use them somewhere else. I need to make this bread up real quick. Wasn't there a crafting table in some of these houses? Ooh, I like this blue. Some of these houses have crafting tables, and I totally just made one, but it's fine because... Yeah, wood's not going to be a huge issue, I don't think, for a while at least. Oh, that is so much bread. Holy crap. Okay, I made more than I thought I was go going to. That is totally a good thing, though. We want as much food as we can get early game. Eventually, we'll have farms for all the different food types and a villager breeding hall and all that jazz, so... Villager trading hall. I said that wrong. I think I saw a blacksmith's hut somewhere. Or am I going crazy? I could have swore I saw some iron bars hanging off of a building. Ah! Haha! -ha. Ooh, hello. I also, I'm so used to playing modded, I just tried to uh, middle click on the chest. Okay, cool. We got even more food. We got iron boots and an iron pickaxe. That's a fairly good start. Um, okay, I think I'm going to try to turn on the replay mod and get building. I may still leave on... Well, if it doesn't work, I'll just show y'all... Or I'll come back and talk about whatever I've built. But I'm going to see about doing or moving around villagers and whatnot it's gonna be hard now that i think about it because i don't i don't even have tools we may need to wait for this uh go get an actual i'll come back to this let's go venture over here and see if i actually like this area back here as a uh a place to start out because yeah i'm getting ahead of myself it's gonna be really hard to move villagers around without any without anything um i kind of like the train right here but it's so close to that desert that i don't think it'll work we can come out maybe this could be like the edge of it because i want this place to actually be huge like i want there to be trees everywhere i want to make basically my own custom oh melons too okay cool Ooh, a little bit of bamboo, too. We can get all kinds of farms going 
like soon. All we'll need to do is go mining and get some redstone. But after that, we could go and make some actual farms. But yeah, no, I I don't know what the actual terrain looks like over here because the trees are so dense, but I definitely think I can work with this area. I think once we clear out these trees, it's going to look nice enough that we can possibly make our own giant tree, which will take a lot of work as someone who's not a builder, but I think I can make something work. And then make a uh, a forest that spans around it that would look pretty cool. Why is there lava over here? Why is there fire? Yep, I was 100% right. There is lava over here. Okay. Cool. But yeah, I think let's start out by clearing out a little bit of the area. I don't know which tree I want to start with because these trees are all giant. That's going to be another issue with trying to clear out a jungle is the trees are massive and they take forever to cut through. I can't really... So another reason why I'm not great at starting these series is because I never know where to actually start. Like right now I'm like, I want to chop down a tree to get my base established. But like, I kind of need some iron so I can make an axe and make this go at least somewhat faster. Why did I make a wood pickaxe? I have an iron one. I'm My brain's not excellent. So what? This way. This just opens straight up to a cave. Okay. It opens up to a flooded cave, even. Alright, uh, let me dig some of this stuff out and try to get some iron. And then I will meet y'all back up top, hopefully with a tree cut down. Okay, so this is not finished by any means, and this is very symmetrical. This is not an organic tree. I know that, uh, and the roots definitely don't look amazing. But again, I'm I'm gonna be learning as we go through this how to build more organically, and hopefully our big base will look better. But yeah, for right now, this could be a starter base. It's not actually done. I need to go and collect more wood for this, but I don't feel like grinding out more trees at the moment. It is actually in the morning. Like, I didn't sleep well and got up. And so, like, I'm not feeling super grindy right now. Uh, also, most of our trees are not going to be jungle wood. I'm just doing this as the starter base because, uh, you know, this type of wood is easily accessible to us at the moment but yeah uh eventually i'll actually you know build this tree up a little bit i'll probably make it as tall as like a normal jungle tree and then uh that'll be where the branches start to come off of this tree um but that's gonna be a it's gonna be a long process even on a starter base to do that but i do plan on doing that at some point um i think hi there Man, this area has been kind of harsh with some of the mobs. Uh, I didn't get it 
on camera, unfortunately. But whenever I was taking out the trees here, a creeper just kind of wandered off from back here and hopped right in front of me and almost blew up uh, my bed and possibly me. But luckily, I got away in time. But, uh, yeah, I think next we're... Oh, uh... Okay. But, yeah, I think from here, we're gonna go to that village and actually start working on it a little bit because... I want actual tools, and the best way we're probably gonna get actual tools is through a villager farm, uh, villager trading hall. I, my brain is not working. Um, I probably should take the coordinates down for this area, so just in case somehow I get lost. So I'm gonna, and yeah, it's is that a desert temple? What the heck, dude? I kind of want to go check that, but I also don't want to get blown to smithereens. What? No way. Dude, there's also a savanna over here. almost didn't recognize that as a savanna because of the resource pack we got on. Okay, uh, chest down. Let's dump all of our stuff, except I need the pickaxe. I might need a sword. I'm not actually sure. Uh, fine. I should be able to get into this without causing the whole thing to explode. Let's take the TNT. Hello, gunpowder. Yeah, I might as well take all of it. Bone meal actually could be nice too. String and armor. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna do anything with horses throughout this, but might as well take it. Oh, a golden apple. I almost missed that completely. Okay, that was pretty good. Uh, now I need to get out of here. So yeah, that hole isn't great, but hey, I got something out of it. Some of that string's gonna be good. The uh, bones are gonna be really good. And I have to figure out a way out of here. I'm just gonna fill her up. I don't know if I have enough room in my inventory to just break this. stuff out of it. Oh. I can stay there for now. Okay, I really gotta figure out how we're gonna do anything with this because, yeah, we... Oh, there's rabbits. I was like, wait, did I just hear a second step set of foot of, of uh, steps? Yeah, I, I actually do have to figure this out. So, uh... I guess give me... Maybe... Maybe eight hours. Who knows? I may actually end up fully falling asleep. Uh, but yeah, let me... At least take a power nap. And come back and see how I feel about... Well, that's not good. We may actually have to go find another village. Just to get some... Tear some potatoes. Uh, I guess that's actually what I'll end up doing, is going adventuring, seeing if I can get, uh, a lot of carrots and potatoes. Yeah, it's not gonna do us any good to sit around here and not have something to farm. Or, to be able to farm to get, I guess...
And with that time... Oh, excuse me. Don't know where that bird came from. With that time lapse out of the way, you should not have been able to get over here. Okay, well, I have to go and adjust that then. Um, the baby villager should not have went through. So I need to make it... Yeah. My bed. Jeez. But it is working, at least, uh, the breeder part of this. So I can now go and do whatever else it is that we want to do with villagers. Um, mainly, I want to try to get every trade available. Or every trade available. I mean, that would be cool, but that would take a lot of work. Every librarian trade available. And uh, maybe get some armor ones, but that's going to take a lot of time. And I also don't know if I want my villager trading hall to be in this desert area or if I want to move it somewhere else. I also don't currently have the means to transport villagers. I could technically take a boat and scoot them out of there with the boat. I'll see about that. But yeah. Um, so far, I've done one time lapse using the replay mod and that was with the treehouse and now I, after i finished making sure this worked i went ahead and quit recording and now i gotta go see if i can uh get that recording to work it did take me a little while to get the first one to work and it was only 10 minutes and this one was considerably longer i say considerably is there was a lot of downtime because i was waiting on things to smell so i went and you know ate my lunch all that kind of good jazz but yeah um now i gotta see if that is working. Also, apparently we got a second golem spawning in. So, cool. Um, but yeah, from here, I want to get armor, some diamond armor, and hopefully a sword with uh, looting on it. A diamond sword looting. That would be really good. Um, but we need to be able to get some iron in order to move these guys around. And I don't feel like going mining. But I'm going to have to because we don't have enough iron even to move the villagers into, like, an iron farm or something. So, yeah. Um, and this build's kind of ugly. I'm going to work on that at some point. Right now, we don't have the resources to make it look pretty. But, yeah, eventually I'm going to work on making this build look better. Uh, for now, I try to keep it close to the style of these other buildings. But it's not great so far but i think what's going to happen is i'm going to just encase this entire build in a bigger build at some point i just have to have an idea for it i currently don't have one um but yeah right now i think that is good so i think we're going to do one more time lapse because it's a lot easier and that'll be me figuring out how to get the trading hall set up the way i want it to be I may also have to go and get some uh, carpets and whatnot made up, so go out for sheeps and everything. I have iron on me? No, I'll have to run back by the base. But yeah, um, that is something that, that'll be the next clip probably, is us getting the training hall set up and getting the uh, villagers in place in there. I don't know if we'll do a uh, iron farm yet or not, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see. But yeah, I will see y'all in the next one or in the next clip. Okay, so I did not plan on doing so many of these time lapses, so this third one is just gonna be me talking through it. Um, so this weird block on here, uh, that is from the uh, I forget what it's called now. Light, light. What is it? I don't remember. It basically lets me have schematics in a creative world and be able to bring those over and be able to see the blueprint in my survival world. Also, I'm still learning about replay mod. Apparently, if you unload chunks in the area you're recording, it stays unloaded in the recording as well. Uh, things I have to learn the hard way. Um, it did that in the breeder time lapse as well. But yeah, that weird box is from that mod that I'm going to throw the name of it on screen. I believe I said at the beginning of the video. I don't remember. But uh, 
Yeah, it, uh... I couldn't get that to go away. I finally have it gone now, about a week after this time lapse happened. But yeah, uh, that was annoying. Also, at this point... So I have to remember where I actually end up building things because... Yeah, we're going to do this zoom across what should have been the ceiling. But I actually started the ceiling where it ends. So yeah, we just get to see the sky. Now we get the side of the building. But yeah, um... I actually did enjoy using this. It's hard to use if you're not used to it, but the replay mod's pretty cool. It gives us another cinematic twist to things, so yeah. But yeah, let's hop back into the video. Okay, I've got the basis for the trading hall done, and we got our first seven in here. And they were a pain in the butt, because I don't think the breeders were- There's another one! Gonna try to just get him in the cart. Okay. I don't really care about where he goes right now. I'm gonna try to move him closer to the breeder. But I think there's too many villagers that were too close to the breeder. So they weren't actually doing their thing. But I'm hoping now that I've cleared out most of the village. <clears throat> Did I just hear a baby villager? I might actually AFK in here and just watch for the heart bubbles and see what goes on. Cause yeah, no, um, they stopped breeding pretty quickly and we're gonna need quite a few of them to get them filled out into the uh, trading hall. I also gotta figure out what all I want traded, like, we got one of these grindstones, which is for a weaponsmith. I think I only want two weaponsmith, because you're not going to get too many different things using the weaponsmith. The only thing I'll really want is... Hopefully we get a looting sword. That would be great. If we got a sword that, automatic, that already had looting on it, so that I didn't have to worry about getting a book. If not, getting an enchanted diamond sword out of one would be great. Anyways... But, yeah, that's what we would hope for is the, uh, and I've torn this desert village apart trying to, I wonder, okay, so underneath the ground, I forget where it was at, it was somewhere around here, it wasn't this one, was it? No, okay, I've already taken that out. Somewhere around here, there was more villagers underneath ground and i don't remember where they were but yeah i don't want to make another pickaxe so i don't want to tear everything up but yeah for the most part right now i think i'm good with these guys we're gonna see about getting an armor let's see we'll do that i believe this guy makes an armor yes uh, and we need a way to make emeralds, which is not great at the moment. Oh, the sun's finally back. For a while, the sun was not appearing. I don't know if that's because of my, the, I have a shader, but it's not, I'm not actually using it as a shader. I'm assuming that's why I was acting up, but I have no idea. I'm going to make another chest over here because my inventory has been super full. I also... I think I've gotten all the beds out of the village, so that should also help us. Um, hopefully with the breeder. But I have no idea. I'm gonna- I am gonna have to AFK and watch them for a little while. Because, yeah, they're not doing what I feel like they should be doing. Also, I have, like, Matica installed. So if I make a farm in, uh creative i'll have a good way to see it here and i if i have a stick in my hand i end up bringing up the stupid thing at the bottom left there but i don't have a stick right now to get rid of it can y'all like go do y'all's thing you have plenty of potatoes okay that's promising look at each other look deep into each other's eyes no no get back over here okay there we go now that i'm not losing my sanity with dumb things um let me sit here and watch these guys for a while and then we'll come back 
and see about... Uh, well, we should have trades going in the next clip, hopefully. I think I finally figured out the problem with the villagers, and it was the way I had the beds. Uh, I don't think they could pathfind to the one that I had bumped on top of the other ones. Um, and apparently they also don't like it if you're too close to them when they're doing their thing. Which, you know, I guess makes logical sense. But yeah, I got them going, and I also set up a potato farm, as y'all saw in that hopefully short time lapse. I got, I haven't done I did the first one, I haven't done any of the other ones that I've worked on yet, so I actually need to go and work on those. But so far, it's not produced any potatoes, so uh, I'm hoping that they're still close enough here that he'll try to throw the potatoes and they should hopefully just get caught in hoppers. But I have no idea. I also don't know how much is in that guy's inventory, so, you know. But yeah, I did that because currently we don't have any emeralds to trade with- Well, we have like seven, I guess. But that's not going to be enough to get started with trading here. Um, so we're going to make a few farmers inside of the trading hall. But we need some trade with them. And right now this is just going to be the best way to get potatoes, I think. Well, I could go and farm them by hand. Eventually we'll probably make a mass potato farm where it's- you know four of these cells on any side of this villager and they all feed into it into a uh it's a system okay. can you try to throw mm -hmm. see i don't like that they use actually try to use the composters so that's not great so that's going to take some more time um i'm probably going to afk again so we can hopefully get some more villagers. Hopefully get some potatoes if I actually AFK. And yeah, we will see whenever I get back. Also, this video is going on a lot longer than I expected it to. But that's because villagers are dumb. Uh, we may end up going to the dragon in the next episode if I can get stuff grinded out. But yeah, I will meet y'all back in a little while. Okay, so I've actually, I, I finished doing, I don't remember what I said last uh, about the uh, potato farm, but I decided I really needed some iron, and the best place to go for iron is the tops of these mountains that are just stone, because you can get a bunch of, this is the best place to mine for iron and coal at this point, basically. Um, and it's actually working. Uh, here in a second, we'll go back to our mini camp, and I'll show, I think I'm at three or four stacks worth of iron at this point, and I've only been out here for maybe 15 minutes. Um, but I wanted to start recording because I saw this. I did not know calcite could... Okay, that's a little dangerous over there. Gotta be careful. I did not know calcite could uh, be on the side of a mountain like this. And I might end up picking some of it up, some of it up because it is a really good building block. In fact, we use the trading hall. But like, yeah, that's a ton of it. I did not know it could do this. That's really cool. Okay, yeah, I need to head back to the bed anyways because it is getting to be nighttime. Let me pick up some of this iron right here and then we'll head back. But yeah, like, look at this. Look how much iron there is just hanging out up here, dude. This is insane. Uh, I still want to make an iron farm, and that's probably going to be what we do to start out the next episode. Unfortunately, I, I don't think we're going to make it to the dragon today. Uh, well, in this episode, I should say. I shouldn't just say today, because, yeah, I've been grinding this out for three or four days. Uh, starting out with villagers is stupid to do, but, of course, it's a really good way to actually get yourself started and to get good gear. Okay, there is... I did not come this far over. There's still a ton of iron up here. And I'm also trying to work on coal, but coal's not as important right now. Plus, we've already got a lot of it. Okay, so... Okay, we'll do 32 in that one. In that one 
four in this one, and it's all even. Cool. Let's make some more blocks of iron. So my goal right now, and I'm going to end up the video here probably, but my goal before I head back is probably to get a stack of a block of iron and a stack of block of coal. I think we're pretty close to the coal, probably. But, uh, yeah, that's my current goal before I head back. But this is going to be where we end off the video, I think. Next time, let me do a proper outro here. Next time, I don't know what to call this series. I'm so bad. I don't have, like, an actual name for my Minecraft series yet. I used to go by Kirkcraft, but that's, I don't think that's going to click as much now that my name does not have that in it. But, uh... Yeah, next time in Minecraft 1.18, we will be hopefully actually getting to the dragon. I'm going to try to grind out to get some good gear and uh, just, you know, everything we need in order to go to the nether and then to the end. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody. And next time, that is what we will be doing. See you guys then.